Okay, would you like me to go ahead and get started? Okay. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to RAM Ready. This is day two. Um, we're going to be covering tutorial services and library services as well. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to go over a little brief overview of um, RAM Ready with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. And please, if you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to leave them in the chat. All right, can everybody see my screen okay? Yes, okay, perfect. So as I said, welcome to RAM Ready. This is day two of the event, and this is essentially a virtual event that will tell you everything you need to know about how to survive online learning at Fresno City College. Um, our presentations this week are going to be, for example, today, Tutorial Center and Library, Right after this, we have an event for the bookstore at 12 p.m. Tomorrow will be financial aid at 11. And the very last day, we're gonna have a presentation on Canvas and WebAdvisor as well. If you haven't done so already, we've listed a link there for you to go ahead and check out the self-guided presentations and the live workshops. Also, there are activities that you can participate in and at the end, you can, win, you can get a chance to win certain gift cards. So there's a little added perk for you guys as well. And at the end of the week, we invite you guys to complete the survey as well for a chance to win a gift card. If you guys have any info or if you need more information or have any questions, there is a phone number there below for you at the bottom. And also on the site, there should be a chat function where you can ask those questions as well. And we'll be able to answer more questions when the presentations are over. So don't hesitate to ask. So since everything is virtual, so is our online tutoring. Basically, we offer free online tutoring in a wide array of subjects. Um, this program right here, um, our drop-in online tutoring, we focus on chemistry, biology, Japanese, psychology, accounting, and CIT. We also offer ASL and music. All our tutoring sessions can be found via Canvas. I have the link here as well. And at the end of the presentation, I'll go over the website with you so you can access all these programs. Once you find your specific course, you're gonna see the hours listed there as well. And all you have to do is click on the Zoom link and you'll be greeted with a host and they'll assign you to a Zoom room where you have a tutoring session. Most of the time it is private tutoring. It's just one-on-one -on -one with you, with a fellow tutor who's a student just like you who completed the course with an A or a B. Sometimes you'll have a group tutoring session and that's great too because other students can, it's kind of like a little classroom therapy session. You guys kind of talk about the class, you guys get help with the questions, you talk with other classmates and you kind of build this online community around your course. There's no appointment necessary. We are open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. We extended our hours into the evening because I know most of the time students are working late in the evening for their homework assignments. We are also open from Friday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And again, no appointments necessary. And if you ever need assistance with how to access online tutoring, we have a number listed for you and someone will always return your phone call, okay? Now we have something different we offer a computer lab online assistance. If you need help with how to find your Zoom link for your chemistry course, how to find your Zoom link for your math course, how to set up an appointment with the counseling department, how to access Microsoft Word, how to email a professor, how to schedule or register for a class at Fresno City, we can help you with that. Um, our student aides will assist you with anything and everything computer related. So even if, it's, even if it's as simple as I can't find my course on Canvas, we'll show you how to get there. Our hours are gonna be the same for that and it's going to be over Zoom. It's gonna be Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Friday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Again, all you're gonna do is click on that Zoom link and then you'll just be greeted by a student aide and they'll be able to assist you with whatever you need. We also offer math online tutoring. So they are going to be open, there you go. They're gonna be open a little bit later. They're gonna be open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Friday and Saturday. This is going to be all math courses, including physics. 
So you're gonna access it via the Zoom link there. And we have two types of math tutoring. We have an embedded tutoring program, which is essentially you are going to have a tutor specific to your course and to your instructor. They're gonna conduct weekly study sessions, they're gonna have study guides and they're gonna help you with the course material. So you are like one of the chosen ones on campus where you have your own tutor dedicated to that professor and to that course. However, if you don't have an embedded tutor, don't worry because we still have phenomenal tutors that can help with any math course that you have, including statistics. I know that's a popular one. So if you don't have that embedded tutor, like I said, that's okay because we offer drop-in tutoring. They can help with any of your assignments, how to study, study guide tips, all that good stuff. And again, no appointment is necessary. All you have to do is click on that Zoom link. And at the end of this presentation, I will share that, that link with you so you can see all the different programs and how they're laid out. Another program that we offer is the Writing and Reading Center. Excuse me. They are going to be open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The WRC assists with all reading and writing assignments. I mean, they urge it. It really is anything. I used to be a writing tutor, and I can attest to this. Anything that you guys need help with, even scholarship applications, they can help you, and they are wonderful. So please take advantage of them. If you need further assistance or you can't find that Zoom link, you can call this number below, and we're going to share this PowerPoint with you guys as well. So any questions, feel free to ask them. They can help with any writing assignment. It does not have to be an English class. We've had students who need help with a history, a history essay, poli-sci essay. They are there to help you and they're phenomenal. Another program that we offer is extending the class. Excuse me. They're going to be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is similar to the embedded math tutoring. So the subjects are gonna be chemistry, biology, history. They offer a wide array of um, embedded tutors for your specific class and for your specific instructor. They offer interactive study group sessions. And like I said, it's specifically tailored to your course. They have your textbook, they have your syllabus. They know exactly what is going on with that course. So take advantage of it if you have that embedded tutor. It's such a great perk. It's basically like an immersive, interactive, inclusive study session with you and your classmates. So you guys can't meet at the library. You guys can't meet at a coffee shop. Instead, you guys can meet at Zoom. And it's a great way to connect with your peers. Like all of our other tutors, they passed the course with an A and B. And they it's probably, what, their second or third semester tutoring it. So, they're like mini experts and they're there to help you guys. So those are the programs that I'm going to go over. We have one more program that Crystal from PASS is going to take over from here. She's gonna share all the great things about PASS and I created a little slide for her as well. So Crystal, um, welcome to Ram Ready and we can't wait to hear about all that PASS has to offer. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So I am from the PASS Center. So PASS is an English support center that offers embedded tutoring, which means you can tut um, you you'll have a tutor inside your English classes to best assist you with your specific assignments. We also offer walk in tutoring so you can just work with any tutor at any time that works best for you. Tutors can assist with everything from reading, outlining, essay writing and proofreading. The PASS Center has moved online through Zoom, and we know it's uncharted territory. Not everyone expected to be attending college online, but we're here to alleviate some of the challenges for the upcoming semester. We offer a PASS Cafe where you can sit and work independently with peers and um, bring food through gift cards to assist with the study process. Our tutors are available on the hours listed on the slide, and the Zoom link is given as well. Also, if you need the Zoom link in the future, you can take the steps listed below to find it once more. Once you click it, you'll be directed to the PASS Center where you'll be greeted by a front desk and they'll pair you with a tutor and um, or any tutor available. We hope to see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal. So I'm going to actually share the website where you can access all of these programs. Um, I added the website to the PowerPoint presentations, but just to give you a visual so you're not surprised. So let me go ahead and share that screen with you guys real quickly before I hand it over to Linda. 
Okay, can you guys see everything okay? Perfect. So the website that I've embedded into the PowerPoint presentation is going to be the FCC Student Success Center. Everything that we cover today is on this page. So if you want to access PASS, you're gonna click on the PASS Center. It's gonna direct you automatically to Zoom. Same with the Math Support Center, same with ETC, and same with the Writing and Reading Center. We also offered the computer lab down below. The one thing that I, that I will say is different is the drop-in tutoring for you know, Japanese, chemistry, biology. Right now, we haven't uploaded the schedules, but essentially what you will see in the future on this page is accounting. And then below you'll have everyone's schedule for accounting and then the Zoom link for that specific subject. So that's gonna be where you can find all our information and then again, if you have any questions, the number is listed within the PowerPoint. So we are happy to help you day or night. We will return your calls. And that is it for the tutorial side of the services. Um, does anybody have any questions before I pass it off to Linda for the library services? No? Okay. If you do in the future, go ahead and leave it in the chat and we'll be able to answer. Um, but for now, thank you for you know, listening to our little presentation about the tutorial services. We hope to see you soon. And then I'll hand it over to Linda. Awesome, thank you, Dahlia. Um, yeah, hi everybody. My name is Linda Kawashigawa and I am one of the librarians here at Fresno City College. I'm gonna start sharing my screen as well because I do have a PowerPoint. Just a moment. Okay, uh, can everyone see my welcome slide? Okay, for, I see thumbs up from Andrea, thank you. Um, okay, so again, my name is Linda Kawashigawa. That's how you spell my name. I always like to put it up because I know it's long. Um, and um, I'm just gonna give you a, an overview of um, library services, some of our collections um, and some of the research help that you can get from us throughout the semester. Um, very similar to all of the tutorial services, all of our services are available um, online as well. Um, so first things first is our library collections. So I like, I like to cover these first because they are our most frequently asked questions at this time, uh, right before the semester starts and at the beginning of the semester. So um, just letting you all know, we have graphing calculators available for um, semester loans. So if you are taking a math course, mostly statistics courses, um, and also, also decision science courses, um, you are eligible to check out a graphing calculator for the entire semester and you can start doing that now. Um, we also have laptops and iPads with keyboards available as well for semester loans um, and also Wi-Fi hotspots. Um, the, we do have limited numbers of these, um, but you can um, check out the, or I guess complete a um, agreement form online um, on our library webpage. So we have a link on our webpage. If you just go, uh, and I'll put the link in the um, chat as well, and it's also in this PowerPoint, fresnocitycollege.edu slash library, that's our URL. Um, go to the technology slash equipment loans and returns link, and you'll get all the information you need about um, the agreement form that you need to complete. That's all online, and you can do that at any time. Um, and then you can call and make an appointment to come uh, pick up the device that you are requesting to, to use for the semester. Um, as far as I know, we still have everything available. Um, so you, you can check out a hotspot and an iPad or a hotspot and a laptop um, and a graphing calculator. You can check all of those out. Um, again, if you, but if you have any questions, just let me know, type it into the chat um, and I can clarify it and I can even show you how to get to that page and um, what you need to do to get there, but these are the links that you will use to, um, to get some of these materials. Um, we also have traditional library materials available, books, eBooks that you can use um, from anywhere. We are still loaning um, our print books. So if there is a print book that you would like to use um, that we have in our collection, you can put in a request for it through our online catalog and then pick that up and check it out. Um, I believe I have three week checkout here, but I believe we can extend that to like a six week 
check out um, just because of the circumstances you're not on campus at all. So um, we would like to extend that that uh, loan out to you for as long as you need it. Um, um, we also have research databases that you can use um, where you can find articles, images, streaming video and audio, citation help, um, as well as textbooks. So we are going to implement um, a, a tool that you can where you can access an electronic copy of your textbook. It is not ready at this point, um, but it will be ready a little later in the semester and we'll send out um, an, an email to all students or a notification to all students letting you know when that's available. For right now, you can request um, to have pages of a textbook emailed to you as a PDF. So if you just, you know, you need a little bit of wiggle room from the time you order your book to the time you can pick it up, or um, um, from the time you can, you, you know, you get it shipped to your house, um, you, you can request, you know, a chapter or so from that book so you can get some reading done beforehand. And this would be the link that you would go to to make that request. Um, and some, one of our library staff will send that to you. The, um, the next thing I want to talk about is research help. So you may not need this right away. Um, but towards the, the, you know, the middle of the semester, um, you might have your instructor saying, you know, go find a library resource, um, go check out a book, um, go use the databases, things like that. And if you don't have much experience with those things, it might be kind of like, okay, well, where do I start? So that's where we come in. Um, so we have a virtual reference desk and the link is available on our website. Um, it, there's no appointment needed. We do have hours, uh, which are, I don't know them off the top of my head right now, um, but it, it's throughout the week and on Saturdays as well. And you just click that link. It'll take you to our Zoom reference desk and one of us, one of the librarians will be there to help you. We could share our screen. We can just talk to you if you just need help, um, you know, learning where things are in the library. Um, so it's, it's very easy and we, we hope that you use use that service um, uh, to, to get some assistance, even if it's just, you know, a, like, where do I find this link on the website? We can help you find that, absolutely. Um, the next things, uh, they're a little more in depth, which are our research consultations. And these are one-on-one -on -one, um, research help with the librarian. So it's all via Zoom again. But these were, are where you make an appointment um, and we really sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and help you do um, much more in-depth research uh, for a specific topic for one of your courses. And that's really helpful for students. They actually leave um, those sessions with materials that they can use in their papers or use in their presentations and speeches. Um, so it's helpful for students because you, you know, you take away actual physical uh, material that you can use. And then we also have webinars that, again, you just sign up, you come to them. Um, they're really easy. Sometimes there's very few students in them. So we, we kind of get into a little research consultation with students while they're in there. Um, and it's also very helpful. They're sometimes general like intro to library um, resources, how to use a certain research database, things like that. Okay. So contacting us, one of the easiest ways um, is to, uh, to use our chat widget. So we have a little widget that kind of slides out from several of our web pages. And you just enter your information, your name, your contact info, which can be your phone number or an email address. Um, ask us a question and a librarian is ready to help you at any time of day. So literally our chat is available 24-7. Um, it's either with us, uh, Fresno City College librarians, or it's with another librarian at some other part of the country or the world, depending on the time. Um, but they're all super helpful. Um, we give a lot of them information about our website, about our services, so they can answer a lot of that information as well. And if they can't answer it, they refer it to us and we get back to you as soon as we see that ticket created. But um, if you sign on to chat, um, you will talk to a librarian at, again, 24 seven. So it can be 3 a.m. and you will talk to a live, or you will chat actually with the live librarian who can help you with whatever question you have. So look for this little blue tab, ask a librarian live chat, and you can use that at any, any time of day. And then some other ways to contact us um, as I mentioned, we have our website, we have a like a FAQs page, um, which is this quick answers link here. 
um, you can call us. So this is the phone number that um, you may want to save because um, if you do have questions or you want to talk to a live staff member in the library, um, that's the, the 442-8204 is a good number to call. Um, if we don't answer, you can leave a voice message and we will return your call. Um, you can also text us. So we have this phone number, you text directly to that number and we will respond to you as soon as we see that text message. And I also have a little QR code here that you can scan and it will take you to our research off campus guide. And that just gives you a full overview of how to access everything from off campus. Um, very, I know there's a lot of links, there's a lot of information here. You don't have to remember everything, but it's just to give you an overview on um, how you can contact us. There's a lot of different ways you can. If you feel more comfortable texting, please do that. If you like to chat, please do that. If you wanna actually talk to someone, use the Zoom or call us. So there's a lot of different ways that you can contact us. And um, the last, well, not really the last thing, but um, uh, one important thing that we are doing is that you can come visit the library. So um, we know there are restrictions for, um, uh, you know, places being open um, and how many people can be in, in a building at one time. We are taking all the necessary precautions to keep everybody safe, um, but the library will be open on January, January 11th for individual study space. So if you need just a quiet place to study for an hour and 45 minutes or use a computer or print something, um, you can make an appointment. Again, you wanna call that phone number 442-8204. Our hours are on the screen. Um, we are open on Saturdays as well. Um, and, and come in and use the library, use some of the study space for, um, for that amount of time. Again, there's Wi-Fi, there's printing, um, there's computer labs uh, available for you. So um, please take advantage of that. I know, you know, it can, get, it can get crazy at home and you just need a quiet space for a little while. So you can do that, um, make that appointment. Um, if you need any updates, um, we also have a link to our reopening um, policies and all of those things so that you know what to expect when you, when you visit the library. Um, and the last thing that I do want to plug is um, we have a really cool um, event coming up or a series of events, I should say, um, in March and April. So this is called The Big Read. It is a free community program that's centered around one book and its themes. And so the book that we chose, and when I say we, it's um, the library, we had English department involved, we had um, people from the Art Space Gallery, from the Fresno Public Library involved, um, from several different organizations around Fresno. So there's a lot of us um, involved, but Fresno City College is the main um, hub for where all of these events will take place. And so we chose the, the collection of poems and American Sunrise by jo Joy Harjo, who is the current US Poet Laureate. And so this is really exciting because her, her poems are amazing. So if you love poetry, um, if you want to learn more about the native experience in the US, and history and all of those things, this is gonna be an awesome event for you to take part in. We're giving away free copies of the book. So if you want a free copy of the book, um, email me and just let me know and I'll put your name on a list and, and we can get you one so you can participate. So um, we're gonna have a lot of things going on, a lot of music and art happening, um, online exhibits, documentary screenings, um, short films created by some of our, our students from one of the courses here. And then Joy Harjo will actually be doing, so we originally wanted her to come to campus to talk in the auditorium to everybody live. However, that's not gonna happen, um, but she will be doing a Zoom event. So she will be speaking to our campus and our students live at the end of April. I don't have an exact date, but at the end of April, um, we'll have a website up with all of the dates and how you can sign up and attend. Um, but I hope you all think about attending um, and, and please let me know if you want a book because we will be giving those out for free and you can um, participate in the book discussions, which will be a lot, um, a lot of fun and a lot of great things to, to discuss. And um, that is the last slide I think I have, yeah. Um, so, uh, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. I did see a couple things pop up in the chat, although I didn't read them, but um, if you have questions for myself or for, for Dahlia about tutorial, please, please do let us know.
Thank you, Linda. Um, I will say I am one of the people that works at the library for the appointment system. So just to kind of ease everyone's nerves, um, we require masks after each student that comes in. I sanitize the, the seating area, the chair, the pen, everything. And then um, in order to come into the library, we do take your temperature and we do collect your information just in case for contact tracing. So just to kind of ease everyone's nerves about coming to campus, it is safe, um, you know, extensive social distancing. It's most likely going to be, you know, you and one other person in a room with 50 feet between the two of you. So, or if you guys need to access a computer and you don't have access to a computer at home, you can also make an appointment at the computer lab in the library. So please come visit us. It gets pretty lonely there. Do you guys have any questions for us? Well, thank you, Dahlia and Linda and Crystal for presenting on all of the services that you have. So students, again, um, if you have any questions for the library or tutorial staff, um, this is your opportunity to ask them those questions. School starts on Monday for most of you um, who are taking full term classes. They have a lot of great resources available for you to take advantage of. Um, and then also, we just want to make sure that, um, you know, you go to the Fresno City College Ram Ready webpage and you check out that self-guided presentation if you haven't already um, get familiar get familiar with canvas so there's the opportunity for you to take part in a discussion board and some assignments um, and you also have the opportunity to win a gift card so um, you know make sure that you go in there and complete that um, but if there is no more questions for the library or tutorial center then we will go ahead and conclude this meeting. Our contact information is on our RAM Ready webpage. So if you just have general questions, feel free to reach out to us. Myself and Anthony, who's also in this meeting, um, will you know, be happy to respond to those. And we hope to see you at the rest of our live sessions. Uh, otherwise, if we don't see you again, have a great first day of the semester and good luck. And we're here if you uh, have any questions. There is one question in the chat. Oh, awesome, you found one. <clears throat> Yeah, it says, will the e-textbooks be available for the whole semester? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. Um, uh, so yes, yeah, so once that's available, um, actually, the once you, I guess, check out an e-textbook, um, it will be available to you for 12 months. So you will have it for longer than probably you need it. Um, but but yeah, so so you'll have it for the for the semester. How would we be able to check out like a laptop and stuff? So um, have you, are you new to campus this semester? Yes. Okay, so you want to complete um, the user agreement form. And actually, if I was prepared, I could give you that link. So hold on just a moment and let me send that to you um, really quickly. Um, so I will send you the link directly to our tech loans page. I'm putting that in the chat now. And this is where you will access all of those agreement forms. So there's a calculator agreement form, and then there's a, an agreement form for the other devices like laptops, iPads, and um, the Wi-Fi hotspots. So you want to fill that one out. And it's just, it's a really quick, um, let me open it and send that to you too. Um, it's just a really, again, a really quick agreement form, um, like you agree to pay a fine if if it comes back damaged and you'll return it on time, stuff like that. Um, and then you'll let us know which device you want to check out and then make an appointment to come in and um, pick it up. We are, you can start making appointments. Um, I believe Wednesday is when we'll start. Um, you can make an appointment now, excuse me, but Wednesday is when you can start coming in. 
to, to get them. So um, the sooner you make the appointment, the, the more chance you'll, you'll get at, uh, or you'll have it getting, getting a device. So let me put in the, um, the link to laptop checkout. There's another question in the chat. I don't know if you saw it, but it says, will the e-textbooks be first come first serve or can anyone get them? Yeah, so that's a, another really good question. Um, they will be first come first serve because um, of course we, we cannot provide uh, every single textbook for every single student. So there is a limit. So yes, it, it will be first come first serve. We may um, limit it depending on I guess how popular a service it is, we might limit it to you know, one textbook per student. You know, you can't request to use a textbook for every single one of your courses, but maybe you know just one. Uh, you can you can check out just one um, one for that for that one course. Does that make sense? I kind of butchered that answer. I'm sorry. Does that answer your question, Diana? Okay, great. Um, I'll just throw this question out there for the students too, because I don't recall if I heard you mention, if you run out of a device, is there like a wait list that they can then be placed on? So that as soon as one becomes available, they might still be able to get it like maybe a couple weeks from now or halfway through the semester if something's returned? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, yes, there will be a wait list up. Um, we, it's not available on that tech loans page just yet. Um, because we still have all of the devices, but once once we run out of something, we will make that note on the web page to say, and on the request form to say it's not available anymore, but you can still put your name on a wait list. And we will have uh, the link to that available on that same tech loans page. Great, so students, um, this concludes our presentation. You can go ahead and leave this meeting. And if you have any other questions, you have the contact information. We're gonna provide the recording um, on our RAM Ready webpage. So you could rewatch this um, if you missed anything and you'll have the PowerPoints also posted to our RAM Ready webpage. Um, so you can go ahead and conclude this meeting, Dahlia. Thank you guys. Good luck with the semester.